dwarves and the elves have marched north to deal with the armies of Gundabad and take out the evil in the north. But they do not know that on their march they are to be met with a huge army of orcs and goblins of Mordor and Moria. And they are going to stop them in their path and stop this, this expedition of good from liberating the north. What's up guys and welcome back, I'm Pope John Paul and we're here with another Rise of Mordor battle for you guys. And this is a 2v2 with myself and some subs um, from the channel. I just thank them for uh, taking part in the battle, I couldn't do it without them. But yes, this is the road uh, to Gundabad, a map it is, uh, it's pretty, it doesn't look too dark and mysterious yet. I guess this is like the border into Gundabad just before anything gets too awful and spooky. But we do have two uh, armies here. We have the, uh, well you can say like the elves of Mirkwood being represented by Lindon today. Because there's no Mirkwood faction yet. And we have the dwarves of Erebor coming forward. And we're using the Rise of Mordor mod um, and the sub mod, obviously, to get some of these extra units, including the elves. And we are using uh, the Rome 2 Buildings uh, mod as well. But um, yes, so we, the plan is for the dwarves is to push through this way and the elves to push through that way and get to the end of the, uh, well, to the end of the map, really, and kind of like take this. If the uh, enemies, uh, well, the servants of Sauron, we'll call them. Um, want to uh, defend there, but they don't seem like they want to. They seem happy to uh, defend quite shallow and are going to attack us quite soon, it seems. They're going, probably going to end up in this sort of area here, this almost a arena um, surrounded by mountains. And the elves are going to go through this passageway. I mean, they have a lot of archers, so we'll quickly look over some of the stuff that they got since uh, we, we don't, haven't had much of a look at the elves, and they look damn awesome. So they've got guardians, or uh, Grey Haven guardians. They've got some Noldorian swords. They have some Noldorian horsemen as well back here, and and they have Gilgiliad as their general, obviously. And they have a few archers as well. The dwarves bring a lot of Ereborian iron guards, grim hammers, um, spear guards of Erebor, Erebor axe warriors, um, and some pikes, obviously. And a lot of crossbows. No cavalry. The dwarves, they're not a fan of cavalry, but uh, which is acceptable. You kind of can see why. I mean, I just love the goddamn dwarves. We don't have to show them enough off in the uh, on the channel. But, I mean, look at these grim hammers. They are nasty. And those hammers are going to do a lot of damage. Crushing orc skulls. Our ally is attacked. Should we aid them? And apparently our ally is attacked. Um, or the elves are being attacked. Yes, the first clash of infantry is about to begin. It looks like it's going to be the guardians of Grey Havens. They're not going to be able to use their bows, if at all. I mean, they're actually going to pull back and maybe allow them to do just that. I mean, they're losing a few uh, men, unfortunately, but that is uh, acceptable. Oh, brutal. Stabbed in the face. But here we go. A clash of uh, elves and orcs. It looks like it's going to be um, Uruk Throng, Uruk Spears, I think, actually, going in first, supported by some... Oh, what is this unit? We've not seen Moria a lot, so... Apparently they're Uruk Throng as well, but they look very different. I mean, look a lot darker than usual. But, I mean, um, Moria has got quite a lot of diff uh, units uh, as well back over here. Goblin Raiders, we have some Goblin Heavy Warriors. It's a bit of a lag because there's so many guys in this area. The Goblin Heavy Warriors, they look very much like the guys from the Fellowship. Morgul Legion going in now for Mordor. These guys are elite. They're probably one of the most elite units, but will they have enough? I mean, the numbers say so. It's about 8,000, I think, to about uh, 3,000. So, we'll see. I mean, it looks like the Dwarves have engaged as well. We have the Iron Guard first. Um... The swords, it's a bit weird seeing dwarves with swords, but I mean, you see it in The Hobbit, they have swords quite often. So, it's believable. And it looks like there's some, uh, some axes in there now as well for the uh, dwarves. These guys look straight out of The Hobbit and they look awesome. Chopping down orcs left, right and centre. And what have we got here? Some more axes getting ready. I mean, they're kind of just holding their ground, doing a little bit of fighting. Some goblins getting through the lines. Oh, we have some cavalry here. 
some Haradrim horsemen. They're just kind of pushing through. Bit cheeky by uh, the Mordor player, but it's a it's a decent move. South one cavalry though are now going to get swamped up by some spears. That is very good to see. I mean, there's always some cavalry in the rear. Some servants of the eye. But let's have a look quickly how the elves are doing. A, it looks quite even. There's a lot of units losing, it would seem. There's just some random horsemen. Oh, there he is. Is that Gil Gilad? That might be. Or well, that might just be some random. No, Gil Gilad's on a uh, foot. That's just some random horsemen. It looks kind of cool, just like in there amongst the uh, the armies of the evil. I'm surprised no one's like taken him down with a big spear yet. I mean, it looks like a lot of dead uh, goblins down there. Can't see many um, dead elves. Which is to be expected. There's very few of them. Oh, look at this poor orc. He's not quite sure what to do himself. He's been gutted. Die slowly, my sweet prince. I mean, no one cares about your life. Yes, die slowly. And while they do that, while the uh, elves push forward. Cutting men down. But I mean, there's a lot to get through. I mean, the cavalry have been uh, swamped as well by uh, infantry, heavy wa uh, goblin warriors. So that's good for the. Uh, if you're backing the uh, enemy, well, I guess you can't really call them the enemy. The uh, evil, the armies of evil. If you're backing them, um, then this is quite massive because the only cavalry force is kind of getting swamped here. But let's have a quick look at the... Oh my gosh, I mean, the dwarves got quite a bit of a problem going on here in the centre. The servants of Sauron are now causing a problem. Pikes are being sent forward but are being caught out of position. And uh, there's a lot of... There's just a huge gap here for the dwarves to kind of swarm through. They're going to have to send some stuff forward. But spear guards... Are, I mean, they've broken this flank over here with grim hammers. Well, a lot of grim hammers. And now they're uh, encircling what is left of this flank but they have a major problem in the center there's units just kind of plowing on through look at these small men imagine being killed by a dwarf just take out your ankles it is the weak spot take out their ankles boys but more of them breaking these elite these small elite armies may be able to hold off the hordes but still a lot of them are throng charging in on these spear guards of Erebor now Good, a good spear there from an orc. Not an orc. Um, well, spearing an orc, but a good spear by a by a dwarf. I and mean, these servants of Sauron really need to take taking out. They are a very very strong unit. Not quite sure what the pikes are doing. They're kind of just. They're not even really attacking them. This guy's just going to mind his own business. There he goes. We're going looking along the line. It looks like the uh, dwarven line is being like bended back. I mean, these spear guard are holding their ground now. But only just. I mean, over here it looks a lot better. There's a lot of dwarves here to get through. And dwarves don't break easily. These Uruk Throng are pretty elite as well. I mean, they've got a fair few chevrons on them. It's, uh... I mean, look at all the reserves they still have. I mean, the dwarves look very stretched. I mean, there's now problems in the back going on over here for the elves. I'm not quite sure how this goblin unit got here. But it's going for some Nodorian archers, which is not a bad target. But, I mean, these guys are still, I mean, they're still pretty good in fighting as I watch if you get cut down. They're still not bad fighting. But Gil Gilad's gone in there and he's going to deal with the problem. Um... Jeez, there's a bit of lag when you come over here. There's a lot of stuff being thrown against the elves. Look at all these spears. And they're still holding them back. I mean... They're elite. I mean, this is just becoming a bit of a... Just a bit of a stalemate. No one's going to give ground. I mean, the orcs are sort of holding them back. They need to get a lot of kills with their archers. They need to focus down units with their archers. Let's go back over to the dwarves. 
See if they've sorted out their crisis. Their crisis has sort of been averted. They've got some units in to sort out this huge gap in the middle here. They are, well, they're actually losing on this flank. All their units do losing decisively. Um, but they are winning here um, decisively. They can break this unit quickly enough. They could encircle. The general is now very much in crossbow range. He needs to be careful if a cheeky general snipe may occur. But, I mean, they're running out of stuff, actually. I said there's a lot of reserves, but... All those reserves are now getting committed. There's a long li line of uh, men retreating back there. But, I mean, there's a lot still with the, uh, on the elves' side. I mean, there's a lot of archers. The balance of power is ever so slightly now in the favour. Look at the amount of people that have been killed and routed. Almost 5,000. And uh, the dwarves and the elves only lost about 1,000. So, I mean, these elite armies are still insane. And they're like... Well, they're, they started off more than double the size. It shows the need that... Um, they need for some heavier units, like some stronger units, so like for the evil factions. The only evil, strong evil faction I believe is probably Isengard. They have got some pretty damn good units. Which is not surprising because they're one of the mo more fleshed out factions. But Mori and Mordor are looking better. I mean, I just hope that they get some trolls soon. I keep, I'm pretty sure I'll probably say it every single battle I play when there's evil factions in here. But they, some trolls would be lovely. Just to see them rampage through, smash some skulls of dwarves. Or just cause some havoc. But I mean, the dwarves over here have won. They are now free to encircle. These brave, brave orcs that have held so long are now going to get encircled and crushed. I mean, I'm not sure what's happened to... Uh, uh, he's still alive as the general, Servants of the Eye. He's taking a lot of casualties, though. I presume probably from crossbow fire. But he's now going in, and yeah, there's been an encirclement here, so we'll get this charge. Oh, we're gonna miss that charge. But we're gonna we'll go and have a look and see how the Servants of the Eye does, and this little fight going on over here. Supporting some uh, goblins out. I don't I don't know what these are. These goblin bloodguards? I possibly no warmonger is what Morial. There you go, he's died. I'm not quite sure. What he looks like, but he has fallen. Probably just like another servant of the eye. But so Moria, not Moria, Mordor has lost his general. So it's going to be a huge break here, you imagine. But they're sending in even more stuff. They had goblin spears to send in. There was no need to send in the general. There needed to be a bit more communication there between the two. Like they had plenty of stuff to send in. Now it's down to Moria really to try and like hold them back. And it may have been better to hold them here at this smaller choke point. I do wonder, like, I guess something against dwarves, I mean, it would have, I think the dwarves would have eventually still pushed through, but it would have been with heavy losses. The elves are now causing havoc in the back with their cavalry, breaking stuff. They're encircling remains of Moria's infantry as well. I don't, um, oh god, this is going to be some painful charges. Oh, of course, we get someone so far back. Ugh. Painful. There we go. We can sort of see what's going on. There we go. You can sort of see what's going on. Some havoc. These goblins will not be happy. They will not be happy. And the sea of, uh, of uh, orcs and elves is, uh, so is soon to put is depleting quite a lot. I mean, there's uh, certainly a lot of dead orcs now. I mean, looking at take looking with the hood on, yeah, there's not much left for infantry. I'm not quite sure if the, their generals died. I can't see Mori's general. Oh, yeah, I'm going to say that with that many left, he's probably dead. There is a small chance he's alive, but I'm going to say it's a no. So it looks like it is going to be a victory for the forces of good and... It looks like the dwarves are just finishing off what is left of Moria and Mordor over here. And it looks like the expedition north is going to continue and the, they can besiege the fortress of Gundabad if they do wish to do so. I mean, not that guy though. Not that dwarf. He just died there. But his sacrifice was worth it. I mean, a bit unfortunate to die right at the end as you watch this army flee. But it's down to the elves now. To just to wrap it up. The dwarves have won their battle. And now it's the elves. I mean I'm fully confident they will do so. The elves even with generals. Uh, look missing. I don't even think they've lost their general. But even if they did. They're still nasty. 
And yeah, just like that, they break. All these goblins. They're going to run back to their caves. Scuttle off. Look for the Balrog for uh, protection. Gundabad would be quite a good faction to add as well. I mean, we have Moria. Moria is sort of like Gundabad, but it's also not because they're more goblin based. Gundabad would be quite good. They'd have maybe like sort of the uniforms that they do in the Hobbit, possibly. I don't know, but yeah, it'd be quite good. Some more stronger um, orc factions would be good because, like, Mordor's just good at like spamming out troops. And I mean, there will be some elite ones, but they just like bring like hordes and they're cheap. Gundabad could bring more elite stuff, possibly. But I mean, we'll never know. I mean, it looks like what's left. Oh, the general. Oh, the oh, the brave general of Moria. He's just gonna stand here with his thirteen men. I mean, he's. I think the general is dead, so it's just uh. 13 warmongers, but we'll we'll watch as they get killed <laughs> Yeah, that's that's not good That's not good And yeah, so these poor warmongers just gonna get cut down. Oh god The enemies rallied their units apparently so they're not quite done. There's a few archers and stuff but, I mean, they've got a fair few chevrons now these guys. I think they started on a f um, Three uh, chevrons, like three bronze ones, but so we've kind of gained a few. I mean, the elves have certainly gained a few as well. But I mean, yeah, these are poor archers. They're just gonna, I guess, accept their fate or gonna run one or the other. But I mean, the elves are so fast, they'll catch them. Look at these guys. Just gonna catch them, cut them down. Oh god. Poor. I mean, you gotta slightly feel sorry for the goblins. And there we go. A close victory. For the forces of Erebor and, uh, well, Lindon, but supposedly Mirkwood. So we'll quickly have a look at the end results. So I was playing as Erebor, and I lost a fair amount, nearly lost about half my army. Um, my general Grimhammer is nearly dying himself. It was a big risk. 267 kills for him, though. He Big re risk, big reward. Um, 390 that Grimhammer unit here, that is very, very good. Um, some crossbows getting 236. I wasn't, didn't think my crossbows performed too well. They kept seeming to be able to not fire because of, uh, like, a line of sight, but they seem to do okay. 156 for spear guards of Erebor, very good. Erebor iron guards getting 157. Some pretty good results there for the dwarves. Um, Boris 2020 playing as Lindon. Got 496 kills with his Nordorian swordsman. They didn't live to tell the tale, but they did very well. 629. Uh, Jeez, that is insane. They just carved through these goblins, then it would seem. So, um, well done to him for getting some insane kills. His guardians of uh, Grey Havens also doing pretty damn well. And his Nordorian spears doing pretty respectable as well, getting 209. I mean, that's respectable in comparison to this now. I mean, these cavalry also doing very well, getting 200. Kills all of them getting over 100 at least. Um, a bit of a shame for um, Moria then and uh, Mordor having to go up against these. But it, it was fairly close. I mean, they outnumbered us quite considerably. I did think they could overwhelm us, but it didn't seem to be the case. Um, best units really for Moria were probably his archers, I'd say. 60, getting into the 60s. Or 81 there for some Mor Moria warmongers, but wasn't to be, it would seem. Um, Heroes of the Greeks, um, oh, that was Microsoft PowerPoint playing as Moria, I would just add. So thank you for him and Boris for joining, along with Hero of the Greeks. Um, he got 102 for his Servants of the Eye, a very good unit to be fair. It's a shame that he couldn't quite capitalise. If he got like attacking archers and stuff, he may have even got more kills with them. That's definitely by far his best unit. Probably his Morgul Legion with 47 did okay. As you can see, oh, 107 there for Orc Pillagers, that's a pretty good for Orc Pillagers, they're pretty cheap. So they did quite well, to be fair. But I mean, Uruk Throng didn't seem to just perform. I mean, I wonder if they had more chevrons where they would have done better. Who knows? But I mean, as you can see from these results, they just need a bit more of a punch to Mordor and Moria. There's maybe some trolls or just some more elite, like, units. Maybe like the Ringwraiths or something like that. Um, maybe able to give them that extra little punch, just beats, uh, have a chance in beating, like, Erebor and uh, Lindon. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed and you want to see more Rise of Mordor action, um, please do leave a like and subscribe. And don't forget to check out the Discord. I'll leave the link in the description if you want to join and get take part in some battles and uh, feature on the channel. But anyway, Legionnaires, until next time, bye for now.